Hi, it's Juliet from My City Plans. What is Lechuza Wick watering system? How do I pot plants in Cube 16, Cube 14, or Canta self watering planters? Which plants are the right fit for these planters? How do I water plants spotted in planters with wick watering system? These are the questions I'm going to provide answers to today. If you don't know me yet, I am the founder of My City Plants. I have been using Lechuza self watering planters for all our plants for more than eight years. These planters are not just stylish, they are also very practical and make taking care of plants much easier. So what is wick watering system? Wick watering system is that when the water from the water reservoir gets transported into the potting mix via the wick, like a piece of rope. Planters that I have here, cube 16, cube 14 and counter 14, all have wick watering system. They are made from high quality, virgin recyclable, 100% recyclable plastic, lightweight and shutterproof. The water reservoir in this planter is in its cover. If you water your plant too soon or use too much water, you can easily get rid of the excess water. Each planter comes with a wick stick. The stick goes inside grower spot all the way in and then plant just goes inside the inner pot and you can see that the wicks are sticking out and that's how the water is going to be transported from the water reservoir into the plant. These planters are great for growing herbs or for an easy change of plant display. Planters are made in Germany and by looking at these planters, it seems that the most common pot size for small plants in Europe is either 5 inch or 6 inch. Where here in the US, the most common pot size for small plants is 6 inch or 4 inch. So when it comes to Cube 16 planter, it's a perfect fit. All we have to do is just insert the stick and drop it in, that's it. Cube 14 and Kanta 14 planters fit well 4.75 inch nursery pot. Can we use the four inch pot? Of course we can. We can insert the stick and drop it into the planter, but as you can see, it is very unstable. It doesn't sit well and it looks like the planter is way too big for this plant. So the way I work with these planters, I repot the four inch or three inch plant into a five inch pot. And then the process is the same, getting the stick in and dropping it in. As you can see, now the plant is very stable and it fits perfectly. 4.7 or five inch nursery pots are available on Amazon. I have included the link to the page where you can find all different sizes of pots. If you prefer to have your plants potted, there is a way to convert these planters from the drop-in option into a potting option. All you need is a planting plate. This plate fits all three models. The planting plate has wick. It goes at the bottom of the planter, the inner pot, and it works exactly as a wick stick. So the water gets transported to the potting mix where those little rope. The plate needs to be purchased separately and we do have it available in our online shop at mycityplants.com. Now let me show you how to repot plants in this planter using the planting plate. As I said earlier, the plate goes at the bottom of the inner pot. Then we need to add a thin layer of fresh soil at the bottom. Pack it in, make sure there is no air packets. The next step is to remove the plant from the nursery pot. You need to loosen up gently the roots and then place the plant inside the inner pot. Make sure it's centered. And then the next step is just to add fresh potting mix. While adding the fresh potting mix, make sure to press around it to stabilize it, but do not press too hard. We do not want to pack the soil hard as we want to make sure the oxygen has access to the plant roots.
After you're done, level out the top soil and just place the plant inside the cover. The next step after repotting would be to water the plant. You have to pour water slowly, just water a little bit. If the potting mix, the fresh potting mix you used and the soil of the plant was really dry, water, water a little more. So we wanna make sure that the soil is well saturated. All right, so how to water plants that have a wig stick and dropped in inside the planter. The potting mix should always be tested before we water our plants. For majority of plants, top two, three inches of soil should be very dry. For plants like succulents, the soil should be dry all the way through before plants get watered. I also use, and you probably saw me using this tool in all my videos, and recommend to use soil moisture meter. This tool helps you to understand what are the moisture levels inside the pot. You just simply stick the meter in and you look at the moisture level reading. Right now it's very dry. And the tool comes with a chart of recommended soil moisture level for different plant types. So let's say we tested the soil as dry and plant is ready to be watered. The way it works with the drop-in option, we're gonna take the water and fill up the reservoir through the opening on the side. And we're going to pour the water until the red stick inside the plastic tube rises to the maximum mark. Once it reached the maximum mark, we're just gonna wait. We will wait for the plant to drink all the water when the red stick in the water level indicators back to minimum, it tells us the reservoir is empty, but we do not refill the reservoir right away. We have to wait for the soil to dry. And again, top to three inches for regular plants and for succulents all the way through. When the soil is dry enough, we simply refill the reservoir and we repeat the process. Test the soil, water, test the soil, water. How to water plants that are potted in these planters? Since plants are potted, there are new and more soil around the roots. So we need to provide some time for the roots to adjust and grow into the pot a little bit. So for the first 12 weeks, we need to water the plant through the top, through the potting mix, while roots are adjusting and growing into the pot a little bit. Watering frequency will be higher during first 12 weeks because we do not have any water in the water reservoir yet for plant to use. On average, watering frequency for the first 12 weeks will be once a week for the majority of plants. For plants like succulents, once every 10 days. You will need approximately six ounces for smaller plants and about eight ounces of water for larger plants. When you water the plant, you need to pour water very slowly to make sure the soil absorbs all the moisture and avoid for the water running straight at the bottom of the planter. Test the potting mix once every five to seven days and water your plant when the soil is dry enough. After 12 weeks period, we can start using the water reservoir. Again, guys, when the soil is dry enough, after 12 weeks period, we're going to pour water, not through the soil anymore, directly into the water reservoir through this opening on the side. We're going to pour water until the red stick inside the plastic tube reaches the maximum mark. And then we would have to wait for the plant to use all the water. When the red stick is back down to the minimum mark, the reservoir is empty, but we do not refill it right away. We have to wait for the soil to dry out. So we test the soil once every five to seven days and refill the reservoir only when the soil is dry enough. Remember that watering frequency depends not only on the plant type, but also on the indoor temperature, light exposure, humidity, and air circulation. Also, watering frequency is much lower during cold seasons when plants go kind of dormant, and much higher frequency during spring and summer when plants are in active growth phase. I have showed you how you can grow plants in these cool planters with weak 
watering system. If you want to learn about Lechuza self-watering planters that have a built-in sub-irrigation system, you should browse through our list Lechuza self-watering planters where I demonstrate how to assemble, how to pot plants and how those planters work. Hit like if you find this video helpful, subscribe to our channel where we share all the important information about plant care, plant decor and much more. Thank you for watching and may your plants grow happy and healthy.